What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a kind of a roundup of the issues that I have with Fender Play. I have reviewed it, I've actually reviewed it a couple times, so this is going to be a quicker rundown. Basically I'm just going to say up front that I don't recommend it, I don't like it. Uh, if you follow guitartalk.com, I have that pretty clearly laid out in my Fender Play review. I'm going to link to that in the description and you can check out some of the programs that I do recommend and hit the subscribe button, give the video a like if you agree. If you don't agree, you can leave it in the comment section below. I am just going to, I'm not even going to log in, all right? Like, this is just here for, uh, you, you can see here that I had an account. If you go over to the review, you can see that I've actually had an account logged in. I have uh, done that a couple of times now. I did it when it first came out. I think it was in 2017, and then I did an update uh, just to kind of, it's really slow right now. I'm not sure why it's coming so slow, but I did an updated, kind of update the screenshots to check on the content in 2019 and see if they had added anything, see if it was different. And it really wasn't. Uh, so I'm not going to log in again. You can see here that they're giving me the restart uh, promo code there, which should tell you that I used to have an account. So you're not just uh, getting this without me having gone into the program. But I just want to out outline the four problems I have with it. I'll put some screenshots up here as I go. Problem number one, this program has a lot of customization options that they put forward up front that don't really impact the content that you get regardless of the path you take. So what I mean is you have uh, different, when, when you go in, you can choose, when you sign up, you can choose different genres of music and you can kind of choose between acoustic and electric guitar. And the content that you get kind of regardless of which uh which choices you make in that process it's so basic and it's so menial that like it, it's not really different depending on which path you you take and that that just i i hate that there's sort of this there's this vibe they give off that you're getting these different paths and you're getting to choose these different things and when in reality it doesn't have any impact on the type. You kind of just get the same learning path regardless of which one you choose. That's problem number one. I don't like it. It's been an issue with this program from from the two years ago when they started it, and it's still a problem. Everything in this program is just way, way, way too basic to be worth a paid subscription. If you go over to Justin Guitar, you can, you, he literally covers all this stuff and more and he doesn't charge for it. Even at $9.99, I think it is per month, uh, they drop the price from, from, I think it was 20 when it first came out. Even at that price, this is still, like this content should be free. I, I, I think that it's just, um, it's just too uh, basic. All of this information is available already for free. Uh, and and I think if you're going to pay for guitar lessons like this, especially online, you should be, you should have something far more detailed and far more substantive than oh we're just going to teach you the basics. That's a kind of a well known problem with this at this point. Again, it's well documented in my written review. Go over there and you can check out the review. You can read what I've uh, come up with about that. Problem number three. So this is kind of. Uh, a little bit more related to how Fender has marketed this uh, this particular learning platform. It, it gets sold and it gets marketed to you as sort of a comprehensive, uh, kind of a, a new, like, better than YouTube type of guitar lesson resource. And in my experience, that's just not what it is. It is really 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 elementary the type of stuff they cover is is basically for people who have never touched a guitar and it does not go into enough depth it does not cover enough breadth of the topics that it that it gets into to be a a comprehensive learning tool it just doesn't do it yet there isn't a ton of admission on the front end by fender that this is just beginner content I think I would feel a little bit better about it if they said, "Yeah, this is this is a beginner platform like like Walmart's Learn to Play is is painfully clear that they are they are targeting just just for beginners who have never touched a guitar." And I have a little bit more respect for that 
than for a program that doesn't really make it clear that, hey, this is just guitar uh, beginner stuff. This isn't, this isn't meant to be kind of the end all be all. Uh, and, uh, but they really don't, they don't make that clear. And I think if they made it a little bit clear, I might not be as hard on it. Uh, but that's complaint number three, one more to go. Okay. So the fourth and final complaint that I'll lodge about Fender Play is the, uh, way that they kind of s sort or, or don't sort the topics that they cover. And what I mean is there's, there's not a ton of care in, in my opinion, in my experience, there's not a ton of care put into how they order the material they cover kind of like by skill level or, or with any kind of like, like their, their goal seems to be to get you into songs. They want to get people playing songs for whatever reason. I guess they feel like they're going to sell more guitars if people are playing songs and having more fun while they're playing the instrument. And there's some validity to that. I get that. But they're not going to cover enough material before they start trying to get you into songs and you're ultimately going to end up skipping around to things where you haven't covered the material necessary to be playing the the more complex things that they're trying to get you into or even the songs they're trying to get you into i just think it's very poorly ordered and i think when you're paying so when you're paying for guitar lessons online you should get really really good structure that's kind of one of the main things i look for when i'm rating or or complaining about guitar lesson programs is that you, you have to have a good ordering of topics. You have to have care, I guess I would say, put into that aspect of the program. That's something Guitar Tricks does really well. That's something Jam Play does really well. There's a lot of programs. Even um, Justin, Justin Sanico's site, he does a really, really good job of ordering uh, content and making the topics as they unfold. If you go in order, he makes them make sense. And I think that's a really important thing if you're going to learn an instrument without a teacher kind of one-on-one, -on -one. if you're going to learn it online, if you're going to learn anything online, really, the topic should be really well ordered. And Fender didn't do that here. At least they, they haven't yet. I think they've made some improvements to the program, but the ordering, the topical clarity, and the kind of the progression of skill level is just not there. All right, guys, those are my four primary complaints about Fender Play. Again, I've tried to keep this short. Tried to make it just a little bit more condensed because, I, again, I've written all this stuff. Link to the written reviews in the description if you want to hear an elaboration on any of these points. Uh, this has been something I've consistently sort of hammered on about this program since it came out in 2017, and I think it's still pretty much the same in 2020. So, you get a chance, check out the link in the description. Uh, hit subscribe, hit like for me. And if you have any questions about the program, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. If you disagree with me, you can leave it there as well. I have, again, used it. I've paid for it. I've logged in. Uh, I've browsed through the lessons. I've used some of the lessons. And I won't be doing it again for a while. So I wouldn't recommend you do it either. Anyway, hope this is helpful. Have a good one, guys.